Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to use AWS command line interface or CLI to do uh, certain operations on AWS S3 like uh, creating a bucket, copying the files, removing the files, etc. Okay, so CLI is basically a way in which you can interact with AWS services using certain commands. Okay, so that's what CLS, CLI does for you. So uh, in order to run these uh, commands, you can either, uh, I mean, you need to have an environment. So for that, like you can either use this cloud shell. So just click on this and it will launch, uh, you know, command prompt kind of a thing for you in uh, AWS itself. So you can run your commands here, or if you want to run these commands from your local, you can also set it up on your local laptop or uh, desktop. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, I'm going to place a link to that video, which helps you to configure the IAM user and install AWS CLI and set it up on your laptop. Okay, so if you want to set it up on your, uh, I mean, machine, you can check that video out. Okay, so if you already set it up, you can use uh, run the commands from your local, or if you, you can also use this cloud shell. Okay, so with that said, let's see, uh, let's run some commands and uh, see how to create buckets, copy files from S3 and delete files, etc. Using AWS CLI. Okay, let me go to uh, AWS S3 console first, and uh, so this is. Uh, documentation that you have for AWS S3 CLI. So, I mean, this documentation is very uh, good. Like if you, you can refer to this documentation, if you want to understand the commands and you know, the arguments that you need to pass to that, I mean, each command. Okay. So, but uh, at a high level, these are the, you know, main important commands uh, that we have for AWS S3. So uh, you have a copy, you have list, you have like, you know, this is basically MB is basically used to create a bucket move. And this is to pre-sign the URLs and uh, this is to remove the bucket or delete it. This is to remove files and sync is used to basically sync uh, like two folders in different buckets or a folder from your local to S3 and things like that. So we are going to get uh, like, I mean, uh, practice all these commands and see how to use them uh, to create bucket and copy files, etc. Okay, so uh, with that introduction, let's actually uh, start running some commands and get some uh, hands-on practice. Okay, so if you see here, uh, this is my S3 console. I do not have any buckets here. Okay, so let's start by uh, creating a bucket first using AWS CLI. Okay, so if you go here, uh, like let's click on. So basically, this is the command to uh, create a bucket in AWS S3. Okay, so it, this explains like, I mean, uh, what are the parameters and like, I mean, uh, what you need to pass uh, to each of the parameters. So not all the parameters are uh, compulsory. So most of them are optional. So uh, at a, like, I mean, the basic command is basically AWS S3 MB and uh, the bucket you want to create. Okay. So, uh, I mean, this is the structure of any command that you run on AWS CLI. So AWS is common for everything. And next comes your service name. So uh, here we are using the service S3. So that's why we have S3 and next is your command. So command, what is your command? This is make bucket uh, in this my work here. Okay. In so, and then you will pass the arguments. So this is the high level structure of any CLI command that you run on AWS. So first it will be AWS and then have the service and then the command and then you will pass the arguments to that command. Okay. So let's run this uh, command and create a bucket in our uh, AWS S3. Now I'm going to run this command on my uh, local since I have already set it up, uh, set up my uh, CLI in my laptop. If you, uh, I mean, want, you can set it up or you can also run it from your cloud shell. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let me change my directory to this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's start by creating a file, uh, creating a bucket in AWS S3. Yep. So I'm going to say AWS S3 and call it MB. And then uh, I'm going to type in the name of the bucket that I want to give. So let's call this test bucket 6540. So uh, I mean your bucket name needs to be unique. So if anyone else has already taken that bucket, it will fail. So you can also specify the region in which you want to uh, create the bucket. If you uh, don't specify, it will actually take the default region that you would have set when creating the when setting up your CLI. Okay, so let's run this command and see if uh, it creates the bucket in AWS. Okay, so it's giving uh, 
this output which means that it actually created the bucket so let's go to uh, s3 and check if it has created the bucket so let me refresh here so if you see yep so this bucket got created okay so uh, now let's use uh, other any uh, another command to copy a file from our local to aws s3 okay so to do that i'm going to use uh, cp command okay cp is uh, the copy command to copy files so yep <clears throat> So if you see, this is the command, like I was saying, this is AWS S3 CP and your uh, source file and the destination where you want to copy it. Okay. So uh, let me run this command. So I'm going to copy this test file from here into my AWS S3. So I'm going to say AWS S3 uh, CP and test file, and I'm going to copy it to S3 and the bucket that we just created okay so yep let me just hit and enter so if you see it says that uh, the file was uploaded now let's go to our aws and check if the file was uploaded okay so this is the bucket let me go inside it yep if you see uh, this file was uploaded using the command so you can also uh, list the files in the bucket uh, without actually logging into your console so you can see aws s3 ls and give your bucket name and hit enter so if you see it's uh, showing the files that are uploaded i mean present in that bucket okay and now let's see how to uh, move a file from one place to, like one bucket to another bucket so you can use this command for that uh, which is basically you need to just give aws s3 move this is your source and this is your destination so yep like this is the way in which you use the commands you can uh, take like i mean go to the refer to the documentation and get the command that you're looking for and then um, <clears throat> like change the command according to your requirements okay so i'm going to do one thing so i'm going to use this pre-sign and show you what uh, the pre-sign means actually so pre-sign is basically used to generate a pre-signed url for any uh, s3 object and then uh, that can be shared with anyone who can download it using their i mean http uh, api okay so let's uh, generate a pre-signed url for this uh, file okay so I'm going to do that by just saying AWS S3 pre-sign and test file.txt. So yeah, this is the pre-signed URL. So you can use this pre, you can share this pre-signed URL with uh, anyone, and they can download the file using this URL. I mean, using an HTTPS API. Okay. So let me copy this URL and see if you are able to uh, download the files. Okay. So if I paste this one in my browser and hit enter. Yep. So if you see, this is the file uh, basically that we have shared. So if you see here. Hi, hello. So this is the file that uh, we have uploaded to our S3 bucket. Okay. So yep, that's how you use uh, AWS CLI to uh, interact with AWS S3 service and run commands on uh, to create buckets, copy, and etc. So you can obviously refer to this documentation and find the command uh, that you need. Okay. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. In the next uh, coming videos, I'll show you how to use AWS CLI to interact with other AWS services as well. Thank you.